Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Now, I do know that my channel is supposed to start Valheim videos several days ago. By Thursday, I said it was the latest. Unfortunately, as I said, there were technical difficulties and a whole lot of difficulties with the company who I purchased from. And it still hasn't been sorted. So hopefully by this Friday, things will be sorted. If things aren't sorted by Friday, then Valheim is going to be put pushed back even further. But for now, I'm just going to be playing a little bit of EVE because I have been playing EVE every day. You'll see now when I log in that I have been collecting the login rewards every day as well. So yeah, I've, I've been playing EVE. I log in, I run a few quick missions, 4 million, 5 million, 20 million, and I'm back into my base. Um, Okay, I won't restart it right now, but nonetheless, that's exactly what's been going on. Now, the Valheim series that is supposed to start is going to be my main content moving forward. And I don't think that Valheim will end in six months, a year, two years, even three years. Its official launch for full access, if I'm correct, starts next week. And moving past the early access into the full access comes the full game. With the full game will come additional expansions and extras to the game that's also going to be very important to keep building and as expressed by the devs expansions aren't going to be paid for at the moment so that is something else to look forward to in that game now overall valheim is definitely something that i know i can get into as i said i'm an arc player when it comes to ps4 I'm a Destiny player, so that is also an option to pitch up on the the games. Now, if I do play Destiny 2, it's going to be from scratch on PC. Now, I'm not so much of a PC player. I'm more of a console player. I do have consoles which can work with my PC. But I don't know if I do want to use console controls on my PC. If I'm correct, you get banned from certain games for doing that. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play those games and you might even find a third game up just for the sake of fun now even though Valheim is going to be my main Valheim you're most probably going to get a day by day video you're going to get a little bit of a progression video every day you're going to get the how to's on each of the bosses made separately from when I actually face off with the bosses so you should expect at least three to four worlds from me for Valheim uh, then in about six months I'm expecting to start modded adventures on Valheim. Now, on Steam, there's a very big modding community. So as soon as mods launch, as soon as the high def mod or anything like that comes out, I most likely take a look at it, have a look at it, jump on, play a little bit, come on, come off. And looking to 2022, there's a possibility of me moving to other PC games. Now, that is an entire year away. My channel is about one and is about nine months old, if I'm correct, in a few weeks' time. Let's see. February, March, April. Oh no, in May. Sorry, in May my channel reaches uh, nine months old. So I hope that by nine months I can reach a fair goal. Considering that I'm struggling to pass the 700 mark, I'm hoping to break a thousand, uh, possibly two thousand by the time I reach a year old. That would be a nice goal to set for the channel. I'm really sorry for all the delays. And this is just me saying sorry for the delays. I know that I've been promising content and I know that I haven't been dropping very clear and very conscious content in terms of the games for the past few days. And the reason is I'm on the line with the company trying to sort out the issue 24-7 because the the issue is qu quite large to be honest it's it, it's a lot of issues they changed the description of the product after i purchased it so i had to verify that it's the same product they didn't verify it as yet and it's already on its way so i might even have the wrong pc uh they had a shipping problem they ran out of stock they didn't tell me about it th th there's a range of problems so basically there's like 20 or 30 problems that were involved with it and just getting that pc in has been a tough time for me and it's taken up most of my days 
Now on Monday, I'm going to be speaking to the management likely in the morning and that's also going to delay videos for the afternoon. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to be uh, busy again with them most likely on a second lot where they're going to confirm my specs likely. And if the specs are wrong, then it's going to be an even bigger issue and bigger problem. So that's why I'm saying likely uh, Friday is going to be my first day of Valheim this, uh, coming in the coming week if everything goes according to plan and if they haven't cheated me out of the PC that they advertised. Now, I know that a lot of people will be asking why would it take so long? Why am I delaying things so far? And it's not an intentional delay. I swear that this isn't a delay to postpone the game. It isn't a delay to make it uh, overhyped on my channel. I intended to start that game within a week to be honest because most times when items are in stock they dispatch within three days. They didn't have the item in stock. They used excuses. They used technical terms. They didn't want to be transparent. And that's how come things delayed so far. <sighs> okay. So that is the lowdown on why my channel hasn't had proper content this week. I know that a lot of people would just take a break for the week and try and sort things out. But I'm, I'm basically going to keep up this channel every single day, even if it's just an update on what's going on. And you have had the story come out. The story was pre-planned to keep uh, going. I, I actually do have another chapter planned on it. But I want to get others involved in it with me. So, you know, a little bit more of a fun chapter. So later in the day, you might get a second chapter. Just like last week when I was in the process of um, planning content, you got Merge Dragons. There is another event in Merge Dragons, but this one is really not that pretty. So I'm not going to show that off on the channel. Darkfire Heroes, I don't understand what's going on within the game. There's the Battle for South Marsh 2, and it's become very laggy for me, so I haven't played it in a few days, to be honest. Actually, almost a week. Uh, League of Legends, I haven't played at all in two weeks. So yeah, that's been a heavy one. Uh, Eve, I've been playing, as I said, daily. Maybe three to four hours maximum spent on the game. And that's if I get the time, and that's uh, during my sleep time that I'm normally putting in that time for the game. So that's how come you haven't gotten content on that. But overall, the EVE content would just be a recycle of me doing the same mission again that you've seen me do a hundred times. You get to see how far my research has progressed, max railguns, max command, max engineering, and defense is coming up. So that's just about it. I've got max shield, max shield hardening. That's just about it. And I don't go expert. I'm only going to go expert once we reach T10. So that's a long ways away. And I know that this is just me giving uh, feedback on what's going on. There's a lot of things in game that have been problematic. Uh, the, the, the patch notes for the week, I did see them. As I said, I, I've been busy all week with uh, this issue. I didn't even have time to make a video on it. Obviously, in the middle of the night, it's not a good idea to make a video because you can disturb people who are sleeping and I'm pretty noisy when I make videos. So I didn't make an update on it. I didn't give the full info. I just made quick, short videos that are like five to 10 minutes long. I didn't discuss real issues. And that's just about it. There is something that I have that I have to do for tomorrow. I'm most probably going to do it later today so that it launches tomorrow. Uh, it, it, it will be in time. As I was told, I just have to do that video before the 31st. So yeah, that goes out to, if I'm correct, all the Golden Horde spies who are watching my channel. Your message will come through tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of double confirming the message as it is said. As I was told, the Golden Horde spies have uh, done whatever they need to do. And now this is the confirmation for the attack. Yeah, and um, the targets have been laced as standard. The Big Rex Whale, um, the Angry Mob Guy, and uh, the Silent Assassins. Yeah, so that's about it. Yeah, they, they, they have integrated all your members in that perfect spot. Uh, and yeah, so the attack is a go, as far as I can tell you. And the full message will be delivered tomorrow when I read it off because I, I can't memorize that thing just like that. I know that I'm supposed to give it a few times and I did tell them exactly what's going on to your leadership and so forth and yeah that's that's just about it so uh, I, I will read the message in a few days and hopefully you will get exactly what you want looks like they are falling for your trap 
so yeah it, it, it looks like it's gonna be an easy win so hope you all do enjoy when you have your little fight and I'm, I'm i'm definitely going to be watching it i'm going to log in on the day and fly out to watch those fights i'll go in an interceptor with a cloaking device on i'll sit far away from all the action and i'll be able to watch what happens when you kill them so yeah that was going to be fun so catch you all then have a good day